very name of the park and the very uh, purpose for the park being established is completely tied to the beaver and its role in eventual development of the of the United States and Canada, basically North America and everything like that. Moving beaver pelts from North America to Europe um, and the, these water routes that were used by those European voyagers and explorers as they move deeper and deeper into the North American continent. It's just such an amazing keystone species and you know one of those species that we that you really don't think about too much but it is it's it's just that keystone species that changes the environment in a manner that um, all of the other species within the forest have adapted to it right and have shifted to depend upon it in different ways. So the beaver activity on the peninsula, uh, changing and maintaining and adapting those shallow wetlands where the moose like to um, to forage and things like that. That's obvious. I think that's a very uh, clear commensalistic relationship. What we see now is probably again what what we would have seen, you know, pre essentially pre settlement, pre European settlement in terms of what the landscape would have looked like in the and the influence that beavers would have had on it. There was a woman named um, Carol Johnston who started uh, doing some work here in the 80s, and uh, she did this uh, creative thing where she looked at this, um, uh, this historical set of aerial photos taken of starting in about 1940, um, uh, about every 10 years, and then, you know, it got the time between photos got narrower and narrower as so it got closer to 1990. But over that 50-year span, she looked at these aerial photos and she could map where the beaver ponds were because even on those old grainy photos you can still see the outline of a beaver pond um sometimes you could see you know the that hard um line you know of of where the dam was right uh, and then as you toggled between photos over time you could see where where new new ponds uh were created or existing ponds um became dried out and then became other uh, plant types like wet meadows and um, uh, shrubby meadows and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, it was just, a, you know, nobody had really done anything like that before, but certainly with beaver. Um, and so she was just able to track the recovery of beavers here in the beavers, create habitat for other all the other wildlife species, you know, moose and um, birds and amphibians and all that stuff. Um, and wolves are, um, you know, they're opportunistic um uh, feeders, you know, they don't just feed on one thing. They're not specialists. They'll feed on whatever is sort of most available and most energy effective for them to, to eat. And in this case, there's lots of beavers on the landscape, and the wolves here are, are pretty good at preying on beavers. And so in the summertime, wolves being ambush predators for beavers. So rather than chasing them down like they do for elk and uh, and um, deer and moose and whatever else, like you see uh, caribou, um, across America, they just sit and wait in ambush like a like a mountain lion. 